Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Most welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. Today I am going to discuss one of the most important topics for the students of class 9 and 10, which is set and functions in higher mathematics. So in this content, I continuously will discuss the content exercise 1.2 from number 1 to last match. So basically in this content, I am going to discuss few MCQ from number 1 to number 7. So, dear audience, give attention to the board. The first one, which one is the domain of the relation? So, we see here there is a relation. Actually, relation is the cross multiplication of two different sets. And each elements in the relation are in a pair order. So, first pair order is 2, 2. Second pair order is 4, 2. Third one is 2, 10. And fourth one is 7, 7. So the question is, which one is the domain? We know domain is the combination of first elements. So here we see the first elements are uh, 2, 4, 2 and 7. Just give attention, the first elements in the first pair 2, there is 7, there is 2, there is 7. So we see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4 digit. But 2 is repeating here. 2 is repeating here, yes, just we can take only 1, 2. That's why the answer will be 2, 4 and 7. That is the domain of the relation. So which one? The number D. Number D is the correct answer. If we see any digit is repeat, so there will be single times. So no missing, no repeat. The first elements always call in the domain, uh, domain of a function. So the relation given here one uh, elements one uh, two two four two and two ten seven seven so answer will be two four seven which is the domain so now give attention to the number two which is one of the most important mcq here and so basically these types of mcq usually comes in the ssc level exams uh, s equal uh, the relation is given here s equal uh, x y and x belongs to a y belongs to elements of a and the relation is given y equal to x square so elements of a is also given minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 the requirement which following one is the number sorry which following one is the member of the relation of r sorry of s so now give attention the condition is given here uh, y equal x square and basically when we apply uh, minus 2 when we apply here minus 2 minus 2 then y will be 4 so minus 2 always gives you 4 and when you apply here minus 1 minus 1 like minus 1 squared equals to 1 when you apply here 0 0 square will be 0 when you apply here 1 so 1 square equals to 1 when you apply 2 by using here you will get here 4 so just give attention to the outcomes of the relation 4 1 0 1 4 but we see here the elements of y are 4 1 0 1 4 but the second information is given here y is a elements of a but we see here 4 is not elements of a and this 4 is also is not elements of a so only elements of a is 1 0 and 1 so if we do minus 1 is square equals to 1 so first information here give attention 4 4 is not elements the x equal to y equal 4 x equal minus 2 y equal 4 x equal minus 2 y equal 1 x equal 1 y equals 2 minus 1 so but give attention here 4 and 4 there is the elements of y these are not true because 4 is not elements of a and now when we apply the minus 1 the outcome is when we applied here minus 1 outcome is 1 so finally this answer will be c now give attention to number 3 the relation is given here is equal 1 4 2 1 3 0 4 1 5 4 
the first information the range 4 1 0 so basically domain is the first elements of a pair order and the second elements will be in range so 4 1 and 0 1 4 but we see here the second elements 4 1 0 1 4 and these are all second elements so just taking one time so 4 1 0 4 1 0 these are the elements of range which is given here so this is true information uh, the inverse relation is basically inverse means the first elements will be second elements and second elements will be first elements domain will be range and range will be domain so first one four one one four will be four one four one and two one is one two three zero is zero three four one is one four and five one is sorry five four is four five so this is the inverse relation so number two information is also right and now give attention to number three uh, there uh, the relation s is a function so this one of the most important topics here each and every relations may not be function and few relation only just become a function so give attention basically when you see here uh, one there uh, so domain of the elements is one uh, two three four five the all are different there is no any repeating term just if we see here uh, the, any repeating term in the domain so the relation will not be function but in this condition one two three four five all are different there is no similar term like the range so that's why this one will be function so as far as question which following one is true number one two three so d will be right answer but when you draw a graph here, basically by using draw, we can take decisions either this one will be function or not. Like here, uh, this is the function. So we can draw here different types of function. Like just one function like this, another one will be like this, this one is like this, there will be like this and just fifth one will be like this. So the condition is if we draw a parallel line of y axis like if we draw a parallel line of y axis and we would draw a parallel line of y axis 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 how many intersecting points we get here so this will not be function how many intersecting points we get here two functions so this will not be a function how many intersecting points so this will be function we get only here intersecting point this will be function just we get only one intersecting point this one will be functions so just we can take the decision by drawing a graph when a parallel line of y axis just cut the graph in two points then the graph will not be the functions just when we when this cut only one single point so this graph will be the function so basically uh, uh, just uh, plotting this point in a graph paper if you draw here just you will get a single point if you draw a parallel line with the y-axis now give attention next question number four number four if f of x equal root of r x minus one then f of 10 will be what so just do simple calculation here like f of x equal uh, x minus 1 then f of 10 will be uh, root over 10 minus 1 equals to root over 9 equal to 3 I think information is given in B sometimes few students do mistake here by writing plus or minus 3 no just we are using the doing simple calculation like if we write here x square equal 9 then x will be plus minus root over 9 but there is no any plus minus sign just using the simple square root of 9 like this square root of 9 3 3 times there will be 0 so uh, so the answer is 3 and then number question 5 is also one of the most important question here uh, first give attention to the question if s equal x y then x square plus y square minus 25 equal to 0 
x is greater than or equal to 0. Just information is given here. So basically this is the equation of a circuit. The relation is not a function. First information, the graph of a relation is the half circuit. Okay, we will draw the graph then we can take the decision either is half circle or not. The graph of the relation will be uh, will be on upper half plane of the x-axis. There are three different conditions here. Okay, one by one we will discuss. Uh, first condition, the relation is not a function. So what are given here? Just give attention x square plus y square minus 25 equals 0. So if we draw the x square plus y square equal 25 or x square plus y square will be 5 square. Basically this is the equation of a circle. But this condition is given here x is positive side. So now draw a circle uh, like this is the equation of a circle whose radius is 5 unit. The without condition, if we draw the only condition, but the second condition, x is greater than or equal to 0. So, when the value of x will be only positive side, so there will be just, it will be only the positive side. Because the second condition is given here, the second condition is given here, x is greater than or equal to 0. So, this is basically semicircle. So, first information, the relation is, uh, first information, the relation is not a function. Okay. Now, draw a parallel line with the y-axis as like as previous one. How many intersecting point we get here? Two. So, this is not, this is not a function. The relation is not a function. This information is true. Because, if we draw a parallel line of y-axis, which cut the graph in two different points. So we can take the decision, the, fun, the relation is not a function. So basically circle is not a function because if we draw a parallel line here of y axis, we always get two different intersecting points. That's why the circle is not a function. First information is true. The second information, the graph of a relation is a half circle. Basically, the condition only for x is greater than or equal to 0, we see here half circle. So, second information is also right. And third information, the graph of the relation will be on upper half plane of the x circle. So, basically, it's not the upper half of the x circle. Upper half of the x circle means this one, the positive side of y axis the upper half of the x axis and the lower half of the x axis but the information uh, the graph of the relation will be on upper half plane of the x axis not it is it is the uh, it is the right side it is the right side or the positive side of x axis uh, for positive side of x axis so this information is not right so we can take decision only one and two will be correct answer. So number six almost the same as like as number four. Okay, give attention to number six. Uh, number six here, if a of x equal root of what x minus one equal five, then x equal to what? So our information is given uh, f of x equal root over x minus 1 equal 5 then x equal what? Okay, just now consider here root over x minus 1 equal 5 and just do square on the both side you will get here 25 uh, then eliminating square and root from the both side uh, so left side then now x will be 26 which is given in the number d so number six right answer will be number d and number seven this is one of the most important question also here uh, the function is given here f of x equal root of what x minus one then which is the domain of the function basically in our mathematics book plus nine and ten standard max book there are three or four different types of function we see here the first of all f of x equal x square 
इमेजिनरी और कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर देर उल बी जीरो जस्ट वी गेट ओनली व्हाइन इट्स पॉजिटिव नंबर व्हाइन इट्स जीरो वी गेट ओनली टू टाइम्स व्हाइन इन इन द इनसाइड द रूट ऑफ़ आर व्हाइन द फंक्शन विल गिव रिजल्ट व्हाइन इट्स बिकम जीरो और पॉजिटिव नंबर बट व्हाइन इनसाइड द इनसाइड द रूट व्हाइन यू सी एनी नेगेटिव न it will give complex number or imaginary number that's why domain of the function basically will be inside the root this one will be greater than or equal zero greater than means positive or equal zero means uh, comparing with zero so domain always is greater than or equal one just changing minus one left side to right side so domain of the function is greater than is x is greater than or equal one which is answer here that do number b f domain f equal x belongs to r indicate the all real number and inside the real number x is greater than or equal 1 so number b is right answer so basically there are seven mcq in content 1.2 so thank you very much to enjoy this tutorial if you have any question please do comments hopefully see you again in the next tutorial allah hafiz assalamu alaikum warahmatullah